What's up guys, Mighty Lubu here and uh, I got some Dragoncraft gameplay for you and even though the expansion has been out for uh, what about it? about a day, very early on we can uh, already estimate which are the best classes and uh, the best decks already just because we play so many games and you know just a lot by we I mean like in general a lot of people in the community and Twitch and all that and me as well I've been playing a lot of ranked and we can already tell that Dragon, Shadow, and Forest are like the top tier uh, classes. They have the best decks and uh, they're all kinds of powerful. Mainly because they, the classes themselves haven't lost anything really. And if anything they gained a new tool to help them uh, do what they do best. Like for example Dragon, for Dragon you still have Ramp, you still have powerful Dragons. And uh, Shadow has <laughs> Mr. Lore Ector. And, so I and uh, you know, the rest of the classes are, you know, they're kind of hanging behind. They're not all bad. Runecraft is actually pretty good. For example, Dirt Rune. Very annoying. You have this guy, Mr. Magic Luzinus. This guy is so OP. He's still OP. He's one example of uh, really strong cards. Let me share my wisdom. And um, yeah, I've just been using a lot of dra a dragon to climb re recently just because it's so powerful and it's, it's very difficult for a lot of decks to deal with uh, Mr. Bahamut. Bahamut is a really powerful uh, card to deal with. And here comes the new dragon too, Ozzy the Haka. After all. Gotta love this dragon. Basically just a big dragon that protects you, or not really exactly protects you. It could do massive damage or you could use it for board uh, defensively, which I did use in this uh, game. My hand here is pretty bad though, but we hit the top deck. <laughs> and this is the usual combo. Saha, Israfil. Extremely OP. It's a free AoE damage. So here comes Dirt Rune trying to kill me, trying to burn me down. And look at this magic missile for two since the legendary powered it up. I have to play defensive. Drop that to Haka. And at least I don't. I mean, like I probably would have died to like a magic missiles and something else. He was lucky he didn't have Wizard of Oz into something like the burn damage. Don't so yeah, Dirt Rune is all kinds of powerful too. It's not too bad. Well, here comes Israfil. Give me the heals, baby. Bam, bam. Massive damage, so he has to kill me this turn or get rid of Israfil, otherwise he loses. Well, he didn't have an answer. So that's a GG. So yeah, Shadowcraft has the, their Demon Lord Ector and all their zombie flooding uh, tools are still there. Uh, let's play this gameplay right here. Oh, this was insane. I love this game right here. It was not a mirror match, it was actually a different style of uh, ramp dragon, which is very risky. I, I wouldn't run this, it's too, it's too YOLO. Too YOLO. Uh, you guys are going to see which card is playing. In the mirror match, I always try to keep Saha kill. She combos off with just everything in your deck, man. You have Zeus, you have Bahamut, you have Israfil. And you can just trade into his stuff for free. Oh, he starts off with ramp, and I'm like, oh, damn it, he has ramp. I mean, I do have Cardra, which is good for this matchup. I don't know whether to run three copies of Goblin Mage. I feel like two is enough. At least two has been working for me. Because Pure Hearted gives you two cards. This only gives you one. 
It gives you the Ayla, but yeah. It's only a chance to give you Ayla. Look at this, man. He's already at 10 play point. He can drop his Bahamut, he can drop his full combos. So I gotta catch up. Evolution, here we go. Trying to make the world blue. Look at this combo. What? Chronos. I didn't expect Kronos. Ready to witness my so Kronos is gonna make it so that he draws. Everybody starts drawing cards now all of a sudden. He's gonna draw nine because he has a nine attack minion. I have to defend myself. Get him, Zeus. Although, if you're running into this situation, kill you off your Bahamets. Your Bahamets are useless, so. Yeah, I kind of lose my Zeus here, but damn, that was pretty bad. Had I known, had I thought about it, I guess, I would have... Uh... Look at this combination here. Imperial Dragon, now he gets to do that. Kill my entire board and draw five cards. So good thing I have the answer for this. Get Zeus out of here. Heal me, baby. You Evolver. Me. A dance to make the world Thus it ends. This is the spicy match. So I know his win condition. As long as I stay above 10 life, I should be able to survive his onslaught. And if he doesn't kill me, he's going to lose the game because he's running out of cards. So, All must come to an end. lower my hand just a little bit, heal, I don't need to play anything, don't need to draw. And that's his last uh, amount of damage that he can do. Unless he has some weird combination here, but... Let's remove that, let's heal, we're above 10 life. So, there's no way he can kill me now. Nice. Uh, unless he had like a Ozzy the Haka and another combo. Which it probably could have killed me. But yeah, I've been grinding, I mean stomping Portalcraft. Just because Portalcraft is just so bad against Dragoncraft. And uh, let's just showcase it on this one. It's a pretty good game. He actually had Dio X, X Machina, so it goes to show just how... You know, even with the extremely powerful DX Machina, it just no chance. Just because uh, Portalcraft has no way to deal with the Bahamuts or the big threats after big threats the Dragon has. So here we go. We got what we need. Not the best hand, but a very good hand. We have no ramp, but we have uh, card draw and ramp. Well, we drew ramp. Never mind. Rip. I lied. This is the best hand. Like, if I had a Blazing Breath, it would be like the best hand. Because then I can just kill this. But this is extremely good. The typical opener, 2 drop into 3 drop. Here we ramp up some more. Kind of baits in an evolution, but he didn't fall for it. Mr. Dragon? Yeah, here we go. Get him, Ayla. Here. I guess he didn't want to evolve this for some reason. Maybe to keep... I don't know. Isn't its effect worth evolving? Not sure. But... Here we go. We're ramping up. We're already at 10 play points, so... 
so long as I draw something strong here. Like bomb, it will be great. Uh, this game you guys are gonna see a play which you should uh, take a... Uh, I don't know, take a look at it. Make sure that if it, you're in, ever in this situation, maybe play it right. Uh, or at least play the way I do. That way you guys can counter it. Uh, I think it was here. Let me see. No, it wasn't this turn. I'll point it out. Well, basically, whenever they play... What is that amulet called? Rip. Forgot the name of it already. The Acceleranium? All you have to do is not play anything. Kind of a mistake for me. I should just play Saha, maybe. The Acceleraniums. There you go. Never play two of these. Now this guy Borlocks himself. Usually you want to play Bahamut after they play the Acceleranium. That way you can destroy this. Because now he can just start killing his artifacts. There we go. My Bahamut is just going to be putting in work. Get him, Bahamut. I don't get it. He could have kept one of his minions alive. He chose to kill them all. Don't get why. Here, I could just pass the turn. That way he doesn't get the... So this is what I was talking about. Just pass the turn. He wastes the countdown on this. And now he's Borlock. So now all I have to do is pass the turn. And there's nothing he can do. Except for doing damage to me. But that's fine. No threat. Now I can drop Israfil. Next turn, this thing is gonna go away. We heal up. Get him, Israfil. Boom! Look at that sweet, sweet turn. Mm -hmm. Here comes all the gadgets. Eureka! But he has no acceleranium, so these things can't have a charge unless he, unless they have charge. Hmm. I'm not sure if he did that in the right order, but so cool. here comes Saha. This combo is ridiculous. It's too OP. Oh my goodness. And uh, yeah, that's GG. Because next time I, I could just play uh, Saha, Israfil, and kill him. Or the boar gets him. So yeah, that's a GG. I have two ways to this three ways to defeat him, but that's it. That's the end of a Porto Craft. That's why it's so easy to dominate them, man. You just have no response to big threats. Uh, but yeah, I kind of been stomping a lot of Porto Craft and a lot of a lot of good games I've had here. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Dragon Craft is really insane, very powerful. And as strong as usual. Uh, for me, for this deck, I was running one uh, one copy of this just because I don't have three copies of Saha. And uh, I don't know, it's a really cool looking card, and uh, could be an alternative if you don't have three copies of Saha. It's basically board uh, board clears. And uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, comment down below. If you need a deck list and all that good stuff, just yeah, let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. It's been mighty, and I'm out. Peace. Later.